Hey, Chad here from C Chad Run. I'm going to be giving you my first impressions of the Adidas Terex Speed LD shoes, trail running shoes. So let me uh, open up this box and show you show you what we got in here. I'm going to flip the phone around here. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have, I just ordered these, got a screaming deal right after Christmas. These are the shoes. So the Tarek Speed LD shoes are their are Adidas lighter trail running shoe. Um, you can see here based on from the label that they are um, on their sample size, which I believe is men's size nine. I could be wrong on that. It's 260 grams. So it's a, a fairly lightweight uh, trail shoe. Um, I've, I haven't had a chance to run in these, although I did put them on my foot. One, to make sure they, they fit right and to just see how they felt. So I'll give you my impressions of that here shortly. But the, the general thoughts of the shoe, a um, few things that we've got going on here. We've got a 26 millimeter uh, heel stack and a 17 millimeter uh, forefront. Um, it feels about that thickness. Um, the foam, this midsole here is right now feels fairly firm, which I don't think is going to be really a problem on the trail. Um, being a lightweight shoe, I think this is going to be great for those, uh, the, the race day runs or when you just want a, a nice light, uh, training trail shoe on the bottom here, you can see you've got reasonable lugs. They look like they're probably three to four, no more than four, but probably closer to three to three and a half millimeters thick. Uh, you've got that continental rubber, which is going to be, uh, really good for, for the grip. Um, I had the continental on my uh, Adidas Terex Agravic XT GTX trail shoes. They've got the Continental Grip and, and loved it. Um, like it a lot more than some of the other brands. So definitely loving the, the Continental. The, the tread looks like it's going to be really good. I'm excited about that. You can see they've got the cutouts to help save some weight, I assume. So we'll see how that holds up. The As far as the shoe itself, um, it's a sock-like single piece um, uh, upper there's there's no cutouts on the inside here it's it's all smooth just one one solid piece the material is kind of a stretchy um fabric so it's going to be very comfortable um and that's kind of how it felt when i first put it put my foot into the shoes that it just felt nice felt felt flexible the shoe size so i, I ordered true to size which is a nine and a half for me um seemed like i have a little bit of extra room more than i'm used to in the toes but i don't think that's going to be a problem uh certainly running downhill it's going to be nice to have that little extra room so i'm not uh, hitting my toes against the uh the toe box there you can see you've got some overlays you got the side overlay here um just help give it some rigidity and, and strength over the top of your foot uh prevent it from your foot from uh, um, um, shifting back and forth easily um it felt like my foot was going to be held well enough um, when I first had it in the foot, so we'll, or in the, sh when I first put my foot in the shoe, so we'll see how, how that actually holds up, um, and, and how it feels when I'm actually out on the trail. Um, let's see here. Laces felt fine. Um, I kind of wish there was a little bit more padding, um, here in, in the tongue area, but as it is, it's just the same fabric that you get across the, the rest of the shoe here. Um, it's not any thicker up through the, uh, the, the tongue of the, the, the shoe. The around in the back, you've got um, pretty good um, flexible uh, heel collar or collar here. And then on the heel, this seems to be nice and flexible. So there's not going to be an issue with um, it rubbing against your Achilles heel. You also get a little bit of, let's see if I can get a, a shot here can't see too well. You can see some of the padding that's along the back of the Achilles heel, um, upper heel area. So you got some padding back, back up in here, which is really nice, um, but no extra padding along the side, which I don't think is really going to be a problem. Um, the material here is very non-abrasive. It's, it's, it's very strong, sturdy. I don't think it's going to uh, rip or tear very easily at all. Um, this might, but it still feels dense enough to, to be durable. Um, and, uh, it's going to be, uh, very breathable as well. You, I can tell when I had my foot in it, it's going to be very breathable. Uh, a little bit of toe protection or good enough toe protection, which is nice. Uh, let's see, what else can I say about the shoe? I liked it. Um, I'm excited to go running in this shoe. I think it's going to be a great lightweight 
racer. I'm thinking about taking this shoe on my uh, May 2020 uh, 50K trail race, the uh, uh, Dirty 30 50K trail race. So we'll see. I'm going to give this shoe um, a couple runs out on the trails and see how it feels underfoot and see if it'd be a good lightweight um, shoe to take with me when I, when I go out on that race. Certainly for the shorter races, anything from, I'd say, 15 miles or under, it's going to be uh, the shoe to go for um, if you're looking for something lightweight. It would also be interesting to see how this shoe compares to the up-and-coming uh, Solomon uh, Sense Pro 4. Uh, I think that'll be a, a comparable shoe, although this shoe at $110, I believe, is its retail price. Um, it's it's a great buy, and I was, maybe it's 120 but regardless, um, I was able to get it for quite a bit cheaper, just a, a sale that I found through, a, I believe it was Amazon, but Adidas had it uh, as well on sale on their website at the time when I bought the shoe, and so I was able to get it for, for quite a bit less. Um, I think it was a great buy. So I'm excited about it. If you ran in this shoe, I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Um, if you have any questions about the shoe, let me know. And I'll be sure to post a video of my actual um, impressions when I uh, get going and, uh, on the trail with it and put in some miles. So I guess uh, until next time, thank you. Be sure to subscribe. Bye-bye.